welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing where you join me very early on in the morning in my SVR on a day which is going to be seriously exciting. I've been waiting for this for a long time. You might have seen on my channel, it must have been roughly six or seven weeks ago now, I purchased a racing go-kart and I explained on this video, if you didn't see it, that I wanted to get back into racing somehow and this could be my perfect route back. When I bought the go-kart, it's not just any any ordinary go-kart, it is unbelievably fast. It does sort of like 100 miles an hour, super tuned, everything else, it is the quickest thing out there. And today, I'm going to be driving it on the circuit for the first time and I really wanna just bring you guys along and just have a lot of fun with this one today. I am driving the go-kart at Buckmore Park. Buckmore Park is a place where I actually started my racing career aged eight years old. So I'm going fully back to my roots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up my SVR, which is perfect for this sort of journey. Exhaust button on. <laughs> I cannot wait. arrived at Buckmore Park and here we go I'm all wrapped up warm but I'm not sure we're gonna need a jacket on because it is so sort of hot and the go-kart is just on the track my friend is just taking it around a guy who is very good a guy called Nick in fact who I know really well coming back to my roots being here is just I'm buzzing and to be back on a track having the race suit on having the helmet on oh boy around race suit on helmet on and just to bring you guys a little bit of different content we're here to spice things up. He is going round just as we speak. That's mine, it sounds sick. But look how cool this place is. Like you come down here, and I think it's actually nearly flat in the full dry. Um, but at the moment it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty damp. It looks dry on the camera, but it's actually not fully, fully dry. Um, but yeah, we've got all of this to ourselves. Oh, he's back in. <laughs> How's that, Nick? Yeah, it's a bit slippery, mate. Yeah? yeah. Would I shunt it in that, mate? Definitely. <laughs> Harry's here as well. Hey guys, you right? Yeah, he's back again. He, we brought a professional down because they knew that I'd be on, on, on my roof in about five seconds. <laughs> that looked a little bit. <laughs> this is sick, isn't it? Oh, it's a bit of kit. Look at it. Absolutely. Mate, this is a bit of kit. Absolutely. It is a serious bit of kit. How professional this is now as well, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you have like everything sort of all on it. Um, obviously, you've got your dash with all your lap times which go on there, and then you've got everything else. Um, but it's just a little bit too too damp for the old slicks. So we're gonna have to put the old wet rubber on the car. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll be all right. But it's gonna be at that awkward stage now, so you're probably gonna do one lap and they're gonna be ruined. Yeah. I think they're pretty ruined as they are. Yeah, well they are pretty ruined as they are. And you're gonna have a go as well, mate? Rippage, yes, mate, I'm gonna kick you off. <laughs> it looks dry everywhere. Yeah. Everyone gonna... online's so gonna be like, they are pathetic. Right. But then you actually get here and you're like, it's actually not, to be fair, it's actually really wet. On the line here, it's fine. It's, oh, yeah, it's, this is, this is, this is actually, it's like ice, it's like isn't ice it? Rig, yeah. He's drying the track and then I'm gonna go, and then I'm going in after that. I go very soon, but look, I'm joined with Mr. Paul Wallace. What's up? Ten years of supercars in London today. today. High five! You've That's come how up. I'm celebrating. What do you reckon to this? This is very different, isn't it? This is this is so cool. Like the setup's amazing. The track looks good. It's a little bit cold and a little bit damp. I know. Uh, but what do you expect in the winter? It's as good as we're going to get. Hopefully, it'll dry up. Sports fans, I'm back. Here we see Ray Arch Hamilton on the suit. I ain't been away anywhere, honey. I'm home. All the rising stuff. This is when I raced in the American Le Mans series back in 2012, was it? Still fits like a glove. Muscle milk in an LMP, LMP2 car, I believe. He's been absolutely on it in this, and now it's my turn 
to jump in the racing go-kart and drive it. First couple of laps, just build up to it. <laughs> really? The brakes are super sharp. Like at the top there, there's literally just no grip. It's super, super slippy because the trees are just holding in all the moisture. And uh, mate, there's no, you can't have more fun in motorsport. I know than that. Honestly, but more on a like half damp, half dry track. In the, in the, in the it is sick. I can't wait. Oh, I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, I'm actually a little bit nervous. Are you? I need to build it up. Like I've not done this for like. Follow me, you stolen my gloves. Yeah, is that right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, so you now join me for a lap of Butmore Park. I'm just gonna talk you through it and talk over exactly what I'm thinking at this point. So going up the hill and heading on to the main straight and here we go. You can see it's pretty quick. The track is still damp under the trees. I'm braking as late as possible. I'm on slick tires. I'm trying to get the heat in the tires and in the damp, it is not easy. Braking into turn two, you can see it's a little oversteering on the brakes. That's literally because it's just, it's just damp still. Turning into this left, you can see there's no grip on the inside. That is solely because the, of the rubber on the inside and the slick tires being damp as well. Going through the right down the hill, it's nearly flat, trying to be as smooth as possible, but as you can see, it's very, very on the edge. I'm trying to use as minimal steering input as possible because you really don't need much in these things. They're very, very reactive. Over the right and then flat through the left, and then you go up the hill, and that is one lap up after you've gone a little lift through. Uh, the left and then back onto the main straight. Going into turn one, I am going a little bit deeper. The inside seemed to be treacherous every time I went through it and then trying to focus on the exit. The cart goes into the right here fine, but here what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna go deeper. I'm gonna go deeper into the corner and find the grip around the outside. Look at that, the grip, that's where the grip is. The grip's not on the inside for that one. Nearly flat through the left, right, carrying more and more speed every single lap I can. I'm looking at my dash. Just trying to see, was that quick enough, was it not? Am I a tenth up, am I a tenth down? But also just trying to keep the momentum going. Braking, just a little break. It's all you need in these things, just to get the nose in. And then through the left, it's flat and up the hill. You just need a little lift through this left and then you're back onto the main straight. Braking into turn one, every single lap. I'm just trying to put the cart into a little bit of understeer just to feel the front end grip if it's sort of pushing too much and I can back out of the throttle and stuff. Braking, the cart gets in fine. Here, I'm gonna go even deeper into this left just to see where the grip is. And the grip is there, the X is better. I'm looking at my dash and uh, I can see that uh, I'm going quicker every single lap. More and more speed through the right. It's just feeling good, <laughs> literally feeling good. Left, is take all the curb. Take as much curb as you can, not too much, um, but the if you get into the curb like here, it just hooks the cart in. You get on the power straight away, the power band, you just bang straight on it, and the acceleration on this thing is at utterly, utterly mental. Now, enjoy the sound and enjoy a lap on board with me at Butmore Park. I've just jumped out of the racing go-kart. I am drenched, I'm sweating, like my arms are pumped. Just an amazing feeling just to be back. It's just, it took a couple of laps just to get my eye back in, but these go-karts are utterly absurd. Senior Rotax, they do like 100 miles an hour flat out. They are just unbelievable. And it's the perfect training for me. It's the perfect training for me to build up and get back into racing. I've said before, I'd love to bring you guys on. I love making these sorts of videos and I've wanted to do it for a while. And if I can be back racing, this is the perfect sort of training for me to do that. I just missed it so much, I think. Honestly, my arms are screwed. I'm, pr I'm not fit enough at the moment as we speak. I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, to be back in a racing car. Um, but this is what this is for. It's gonna build my fitness up all the time. Oh, we gotta lube the chain. This is what we have to do after, ev after every run, Nick. Every run? You should really, shouldn't you? Fuel tank, you don't actually wanna have that much. You wanna just fuel it to probably like this much. Um, just because you want to be as light as possible. Look who's turned up. Hello. Hello everyone. Mate, you are not very fast around here. I am. You are not. Is this, this go-kart chaos? 
Not when you're driving. He's been no, no. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to put the go-kart back on the stand. It's just been an amazing day. It really has. But if you were coming down this way, Buckmore is based down in Kent. It's roughly an hour out of London. You can go and drive one of their wicked rental cars. Cars? Carts, which is just here. They're a lot of fun. They are pretty awesome as well. So you can come down, you can drive one of these, and race your mates and everything else, and you can have a lot of fun. It's a wicked circuit, and you can get the chance to drive it in one of these. So I'll leave all the details for Buckmore down below. They've literally given me the whole circuit for the morning to drive my racing go-kart. I mean, that is what dreams are totally made of. Isn't that just the dream? You go karting all day in your go-kart, and then it's time to head home in the Range Rover SVR. <laughs> that is literally my dream day. I hope you guys have loved this. There's going to be a lot more racing content, which is going to come on my channel very, very soon. So to make sure you don't miss it, well, there will be everything else as well, but to make sure you don't miss it, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you all very soon.